here's all the beers that they offer, a bunch of different beers that they offer here at the brewing company. I have the uh, Bourbon Barrel Ale. So it's an ale, but it is um, put into bourbon barrels after it's brewed and aged a little bit, gets a little bourbon taste in it, and then it's chilled for six weeks before they serve it. So this is going to be a good one, and I can take it on the tour with me. 8.2% alcohol content in this beer, so got a little stank on it. Yeah, it's bright out. I think we're starting on the, I think we're starting on the brewing side, which is fitting because I already started on my brewing side. <laughs> we are starting on the brewery side. And the brewery side, uh, it's the same first couple of steps in brewing beer as it is whiskey. So they do the first couple of steps over here for both, and then they pipe, pipe it over to the other building, to the whiskey building over across the street through there all right we're at the beer tasting everybody's tasting different kinds of beers he's calling them out you got to give up your token if you want to sample i'm waiting for the cherry but they all are really good the burpa barrel is really good i just had a whole glass of that and these samples are huge the cherry what's this called <laughs> you already forgot i had a full bourbon barrel beer tart, so. cherry. tart cherry it's a cherry beer yeah. And it's aged in bourbon barrels. It's like eight something percent alcohol. This is a big sample. This is a big sample. Uh, yeah. But you can't waste beer. <laughs> you gotta drink it all. Oh my god. It's a good about tasting. Yeah. Let's hear this guy himself. That's good beer. Is it good? It's really good. Does it yeah. taste like beer? It doesn't taste like beer. No? It's kind of like a. Man, I don't know. It's not like a Coke, but it's not like a beer either. It's just like a sweet. I guess you do get a little bit of beer taste to it, but this is, you, do, you get a lot of the cherry, and you get a lot of the bourbon from the barrel. It's really good. Trust me. <laughs> you do a dry heat back there? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're driving home. <laughs> I'm pretty confident I'm driving home. <laughs> and we ain't even got to the whiskey yet. No, <laughs> we're just, just the beer. Those beers were beautiful. But it's like high octane beer, man. 8.2%. And then the sample that I had was like 8%. And now we're going to visit the whiskeys. Yeah. I got to relinquish the keys. All right, here we go. We have transitioned from the brewery side over to the distillery side. We're going to learn how some bourbon is made, and then we're going to sample some more. And Leslie's going to drive my drunk ass home. Yeah, because you are a drunk student. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is Irish whiskey, but it's barrel number one. And this company is just over 15 years old. So that was the first barrel that they ever filled. And a lot of these... Are, he said are only about a third full. These are all filled, you know, 15 years ago. Only about a third full. That's just because the angel share, the evaporation, has taken place. And so when they crack these open, they're going to crack these open uh, pretty soon, within the next year or two. He said, and uh, make the, the special editions of all these. But barrel number one is really cool to be able to see that the first one that they ever filled. Now I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to ask the question about this, but. Uh, I hope it doesn't taste like that. All right, I was talking to myself and I didn't really catch the fermentation process, but it's all about the same, isn't it? That every distillery you go to. So let's skip all that and go straight to the fun stuff. Leslie about to get herself an old Kentucky Cheers. hug. Cheers. No funny ones. Oh, she's talking about that. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. I respect the effort. I respect the effort. Oh, my lips are numb. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's working. Woo. You feel that Kentucky hug? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either that or I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> She's such a good sport. Such yeah, a good right. sport. It's going to be an exciting day. My eyes are watering. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, everybody's got there. What is this called? Wait a minute. Bluegrass Sundown. Bluegrass Sundown. Don't don't shoot it as hot. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's, <not> that's good. <laughs> I think everybody had about the same reaction. Like, oh, that's pretty good. All right. <laughs> 
Well, that was a great tour. We had an awesome time, good tastings. We had a great tour guide, Stephen, who took us through the whole process of the brewing and the distilling. And now, everybody, and now that we've had a little taste of it all and got a little buzz going, we're going to do a little shopping. Look, Leslie's already double fist in the coffee. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, how many are you getting? <laughs> Here we go. Now where's Christmas the presents. <laughs> Merry Christmas to <laughs> Oh yeah, look at all this great food we got here. We got all kinds of good stuff. We got rolls and pulled pork and lasagna rolls and stuffed peppers and taters and salad. It's crock pots full of green beans and chips and some kind of dip here. That looks really good. I don't know what that is. That looks awesome. Cowboy caviar. Cowboy caviar? Looks awesome. And then move over here and we got desserts, cheesecakes and cupcakes and pies and all kinds of cool stuff. I can't wait. I gotta cut the camera off because I gotta eat. You gotta try to guess how many M&Ms are in this jar. And the closest gets the jar of M&Ms and the ghost egg section. And the winners are John Blender. Yeah. <laughs> now. The number was 468. <laughs> So thank you for Open Roads for donating $100. What we're going to do is we're going to do a reverse raffle. Yes. So if I take out your name and call it, you are out. Oh. All right, Leslie's picking the last one. Oh, me? She's eliminating the last one. So whoever she doesn't pick oh. wins. Oh. Good luck. Good luck. Put all the pressure on me. But it's only $100, so that's like $200. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess you're double my money. Eliminated is 311. Oh, five. Yeah. Rich solar, 200 watt solar panel with a built in waterproof charge controller. And the game is it's a quiz about the WAGs, and they have seven minutes to answer 10 questions. And whoever gets the most answers correct will win the solar panel. And there's a tiebreaker. The last question is a numeric answer, and whoever is closest to that will win the tiebreaker if necessary. So the winner only missed one. Congrats. So the next prize that we are playing for is a weighted blanket from RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Nice little woven weighted blanket. And the way that we're going to see who wins this is we are going to play knockout corner. No pressure. <laughs> Better swing. Uh -oh. Don't do that. Oh. 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 So close. Oh, 
here's the good stuff, man. We just finished up with the games. It was lots of fun. Yeah. And now we're getting into this. Jello shots. Pudding. That whole bag is full of jello shots right there. And then over here we got our pudding shots. So we get the pudding shots are made with the uh, chocolate pudding and the bourbon cream. Buffalo and, Trace bourbon cream. And vodka. And vodka. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, we have all got our Jello shots, a variety of different flavors. Everybody, cheers! Yeah. Yeah. So good, cherry fireball. Mm. All right, we've been drinking a little bit, but there's a there's a your speed sign over here and uh, I'm gonna see if, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can set this thing off I'm gonna try to break a record on this thing you ready yeah. all right let's see if I can do it ready <laughs> did it go <laughs> what the God, that was at least 10 miles an hour. I was feel like I was rolling. I feel like I was so fast. Nothing. Man, we were gonna make a game out of that too to see who go the fastest. What the hell? Maybe know. this thing's broken. It's gotta be broken, right? It's gotta be broken. All right, let's go drink some more. All right, sure. <laughs> Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.